Hey guys, welcome. First video of 2023, and it's a good one. This is Fukuda, just turned 18, rising star for the Japan team, and he is incredible on the ground. He is a Nawaza specialist, winning every match by Nawaza. Although he's got a few good techniques, this Uchimata, I mean, it was Mate, so no score there, but there's a nice Osotogari at the end in the finals as well. So here comes the first Ippon now, in the Tachiwaza, goes for a Seoi Nage. And this is what he does really well, the transitions into the Nawaza, doesn't let people stand up, and then jumps on top of them, and he's in the Tate Shihogatame, and he's really good. Look how strong his legs are. And it's a bit hard to see here, but his opponent gets out, and then he just puts on a choke. So I guess that's a Harakajime, it's hard to see what he was doing with the hands, but incredible, incredible stuff. So this is round two now, being so lowly seated, he's had to start from round one goes through a lot of people and once it gets into the quarterfinals, semifinals and the finals he takes on some pretty high level competition. So here he is now trying to take advantage of Blue's missed Seoi Nage attempt. So very aggressive, he looks for any opportunity into the Nawaza. Just such confidence. And I'm not too sure how he's doing it but he's doing these kind of back takes and then rolling them into Tateshi Hogatame, it's really incredible stuff. And you can just see again the leg strength, people just don't know how to get out of this. It kind of reminds me of uh, Beloded and her Sankaku hold down that she did for quite some time. Just a lot of people not knowing how to deal with the legs. And this is just my amateur opinion but I think what you want to do is you want to get an ankle to the mat so you can push between his hips but what he's doing is he's locking his legs up behind people's knees and so they can't slide their, their feet in there. There's more to come guys, more Nawaza to come from Fukuda. Tomoenage attempt here, but I think he's just looking for a transition to be honest. And I'm not cutting this clip because this match was probably his quickest. Within 30 seconds, getting it all done. So his opponent, poor mistake here, goes to the knees, and this is his territory. And here's the turnover. And then he goes the other way, so a lot of people go the opposite side to the left side, but he went on the right, and you can see those legs under the knee, stopping his opponent, getting between his legs, and pushing off on the mat, so... That's incredible stuff, and... Now the competition kind of takes off a little bit. His opponent is Jiun, who recently took out Nagayama, at the Tokyo Grand Slam and Kondo, so it's pretty impressive to see what he does to Jiun. But this is probably the hardest contest for Fukuda. Jiun actually figured out what to do with the legs, and you'll see that shortly. But first, a couple of Seoi Nage attempts. And earlier, I mean, we saw he's got a nice Uchimata. I thought it looked quite nice, even though there was no score given. But at some point, I think people are going to figure out what he's doing on the ground. They're going to defend it, and then he's going to have to probably go to Tachiwaza or some other strategy but yeah he's still very very young I think he just turned 18 I think he had his birthday the day of or the day after this tournament but still very young still developing his skills so watch Jiyun watch him deal with the legs here he's got his bum on the mat which helps him bridge and then as soon as Fukuda tried to wrap up those knees he was on them pushing hard against them and this is what he needed to do. He just needed to occupy that space between his legs. Because it wasn't really the upper body that Fukuda was using to control people. It was the legs. Jiyun doing really well there. But Fukuda, as I said, he found a way. Puts on the pressure. Looks for a bit of Nawaza. And then in this next exchange, Jiyun, maybe a mistake, goes for the Uranage. And Fukuda, he capitalizes on it. Stay strong in the position, and do you give that a score? I guess you have to. I guess you have to. I think the only thing saving him here is that hook inside the leg. If he had no hook, they probably would have said no score. But anyway, we're into the semifinals now. Gets through Jiyun, and then he's taking on Lee. So another Korean, but Lee, much more experienced. He's number three in the world. So leveling up in competition, and he makes quick work of Lee. I don't want to say it, but it might have been his easiest contest. I'm not too sure how Lee's Nawaza is. He's definitely more of a thrower. But just watch this work from Fukuda. 
it's all over. So that, that transition, that turnover, the roll into the position was really slick. And he's got him in that position now that he loves so much, that Tate Shiho, but Lee defends well for a brief moment, but Fukuda, he just puts him back in, in his place. And you can see here, Fukuda, he's got one arm locked up, and Lee's trying trying to get out of it, but one arm against two of Fukuda's legs, it's just not going to work. The legs are much stronger than the arms, and you need to do what Jiyun did, which was using both arms, both legs, just creating space between Fukuda's legs. So you can see Fukuda, he's pretty happy about that one, beating the number three seed in the world. And next, he's up against Garigos, and I thought maybe Garigos would be able to take it to Fukuda, maybe beat him with strength, because Fukuda did lose at the Tokyo Grand Slam against, I think it was Gambold from Mongolia, and just kind of used strength, overpowered him. That might be Fukuda's main weakness at the moment. He he doesn't look as big as a lot of the other guys at under 60. I mean, he's still really young. He's going to obviously get more muscle, be stronger. But at the moment, I think some guys can probably bully him around a bit. We'll see what happens. So it'll be interesting to see. I mean, they're going to have to send him out more now because he's got a gold medal. It'll be good to see him against Nagayama. It'll be good to see him against Takuto. And I don't think Takuto is in any danger at the moment, but Fukuda, he could potentially leapfrog Nagayama at some point. Especially with a performance like this. So if you don't know, Garigos, he's pretty good on the ground as well. I'm not sure if that's why Fukuda was kind of looking to throw him quite a lot. A couple of Seoinagi attempts, he was a Kochi. But still, going to his tried and true, Budanewaza. And I think Gary Goss was thinking, man, I can just I can just pass a leg here and, and turn him over and get a reverse Kesagatame, but you can just see Fukuda, he's in control at all times on the ground. I mean not getting a pass here, but still not in danger at all, even though Gary Goss is a very high level competitor. So this is the final exchange now, guys. All Sotogari into Juji. And he made quick work of Gary Goss in that exchange. Throw for the Wazari, jumps on top, gets a tap immediately. So not just a guy that can hold people down, he's got submissions as well. There was a nice choke as well earlier. So Fukuda, rising star, and I hope to see more of him soon. Peace out guys.